It's IBC 2023 and we are with Broadcast Bionics. I'm joined by Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Simon. So, Dan, we, we've spoken many, many times and we've done a couple of videos on the booth this year, but we're talking about a product that I don't think we've covered before, Context. Yeah, so Context is really a useful product that often sits behind the scenes, but we're finding it's driving quite a lot of the projects that we're involved in and some new sort of content opportunities. So we're making a little bit more of a splash at it at the show this year. Okay. Uh, it's also been fairly high profile this year. So Context sits behind the Nicky Campbell show, which took you know, a very successful radio format and program mm -hmm. and has made it into a successful BBC Two program and BBC uh, World News program. And so right. the technology behind that we developed a few years ago for LBC, which is a news talk uh, brand in the UK. And they wanted to take their traditional radio content and sort of punch it up uh, with rolling TV news type graphics. Okay. So several years ago, probably 10, 15 years ago, we started visualizing radio. That was automated camera switching, largely for sharing on social media. Yeah. But now actually a lot of people are wanting to consume that media through apps or through nonlinear platforms uh, with longer format video attached. And for that, we really wanted to enhance the production value to allow us to have, in this case, say the image of uh, somebody who's speaking down the line, uh, the names of callers, for example, so we can bring in uh, graphics for that based on then information that's happening in the studio. Yep. Uh, if we have somebody who's envisioned down the line, then we want to be able to bring in alternate uh, talking heads or, or you know, two shots or even uh, up to a three shot. And okay. here we can then bring in our anywhere codec if somebody's got a, you know, got a mobile phone. So really we're using it in two different places. One is as a way of automating and dynamically creating graphics with no uh, TV production staff. So the word context implies we're actually watching what the talk show systems are doing, what the playout systems are doing, what your electronic program guide is saying, what RSS news feeds are saying, and you can run it entirely unattended. It would just okay. make decisions and generate graphics in real time. Right. Or if you have an operator, you can then say, okay, you know, the topic we're talking about now is context. So I can bring that up or before the show, I can prepare a number of graphics and say I want to go live now with different topics or different guests. So you can build inside context your own logic and workflows mm -hmm. to integrate with different systems automatically yep. or your own user interface of, of buttons and input points, etc., to allow you to update uh, straps or topics or breaking news, etc. And so armed with those two sort of capabilities, uh, we work on two surface areas, either the graphics that appear over the top mm -hmm. uh, of branding, or then we also operate in terms of controlling what the screens in the studio are doing. Right. So okay. typically, again, we have branding screens now in studios which have dynamic text and graphics on them. Yep. And so what we can now do is use the same technology to update that screen. So again, this is happening through context here, through the vMix in, in the back end, to allow us to, to switch between us demonstrating what we do on air. So this could be a, a guest in vision now, and I can actually yeah. interview them uh, yeah. through this screen, but also bring graphics uh, over the top. And we can control that through the console, through the web UI that we put on your tablet or device, uh, or we've got the stream deck here talking into vClock. Uh, and then again, down here, I can send signals and commands to do all of that. Yes. Shortcuts. So in that Nikki yeah. Campbell program, they're making BBC Two, but it's a radio presenter in a radio studio, largely with, the, with not the shots that you see because they're automated, but the different uh, types of, of layouts on the screen being summoned using a stream deck. So these are you know, really quite high-end production, mm. but using really simple workflows and technologies yeah, to yeah. empower them to create that much more efficiently. So Visualize Radio, is, is, since you started, has come on, you know, you, you, you wouldn't recognize it now, would you? Yes, I mean, we started really trying to visualize radio purely for social, mm. short form clips just for sharing. But yeah. now it really is generating relatively long form clips, yeah. entire programs, or even uh, you know, a, a new form of television. There's yeah, a yeah. lot of nonlinear yeah. content or a lot of OTT content that we need to generate at a certain cost point. Yeah, yeah. And radio has that, uh, it has those formats, it has the, the, the shows that are already popular. If we can visualize it in a way that fits it for that new medium, there's yeah. a whole lot of content opportunities there. Yeah. So who's using context? So, so typically uh, either radio studios who want to visualize the graphics. Yeah. A lot of radio studios are using it just for the second screen. So if you look at podcast things like the news agents, right, okay. not only are we involved in graphics there, but those screens that appear behind them in that space yeah. are, are dynamically generated uh, and selected through context or TV productions who are looking to, to, mm. to fully realize mm. uh, an, an audio first program, but, but gener generate it in a way that's really suitable for long format television. Mm. And is Context, has this been around a while or is this new for IBC? 
Uh, it's been around a while. It was generated originally for LBC, I think okay. during lockdown. Okay. I remember that a lot of Zoom calls to kind of create mm -hmm. it. Um, you know, they really wanted to compete. LBC has become a, a serious news channel and their content is really shared and used across a, a, a wide range of apps and platforms. So it was originally designed with them in mind. Um, and then really it's evolved into product over the last couple of years. And now I would say it's kind of leading um, you know, quite a lot of the different opportunities that we work with broadcasters on are looking for, for solutions to this kind of problem, even yeah. though it's actually something you never really see. You see what it does, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, most of the time people don't get to that peak behind the curtain. All the clever stuff's behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, where can people find out more information, Dan? Uh, we're just bionic.radio. Brilliant. Or they can come to Hall 8, C81, C81. Uh, in Amsterdam. Dan, thank you very much Brilliant. indeed. Do check out um, Context and uh, the other video we've been doing here on the booth with Dan. And for everything else we're doing at the show, check out kitplus.com.